Today we are outside of the notorious Bradley Woods guys now if you guys did happen to catch the latest video on my channel I did mention that there was something spotted in the woods Bigfoot yes apparently Bigfoot has been spotted in these woods so guys something was spotted in um, these woods so basically we are gonna do a pretty much we're gonna have a good look today if we do find anything Obviously, we're going to take some pictures, we're going to take some recordings. My idea is, guys, we're going to go in, we're going to look around this whole beautiful woods. We're going to ask the bat lady anything she knows. We're also going to ask um, some other spirits that if they've ever seen anything. And then we're also going to probably try and maybe, like, have a look around and scout around, see if we do find anything that maybe some hair or maybe some uh, uh, sculptures. Because apparently there's something about if you see some sculptures, like rocks pack, like piled on top of each other, that means uh, that's, like, the the signs that a bigfoot was there so you know we'll have a look and see what we find and uh, yeah well, guys with that said we're gonna get straight into this video Okay guys, so we are going to be walking through here. If you see anything in the trees, please do tell. Because a valid point is that there could be anything in these woods. And if there is such thing as some sort of Bradley Bigfoot. Okay guys, we have just found a clearing. So we're going to do a bit of EVP spirit box here now. Uh, hopefully we do find something. Um, we're going to keep an eye out, like I said guys, for that uh, hairy beast. And also, um, let's see if that lady comes through. Hello. Something there. Is this um? Who are we talking to today? And also, did you like when we came to the woods? Because you were very. What's that? Vocal, isn't it? Very. Mm. the same dude who came through last time. This is something stronger. Alright, while we're here, you tell me, is there some sort of... What do you that? Please, someone. You tell me, is there some sort of hairy creature walking in these woods? I'll just say a pack behind me then. Okay. Is there some sort of hairy creature roaming in these woods? Lady. There's something there. We're going to be using the old um, spirit box app that we do use. Oh, God, well, look at that. It's a reminiscence of the Bigfoot victim. There's a bag. There's a ripped up bag. Hang on, I wonder if this will do anything to it. Does anyone know who this bag belongs to? Grab it here and put it in the bag. Uh, 
don't even know who this bag belongs to. Sadness. Oh yeah, sadness. Sadness has come through, guys. Plus one. Oh. Right where the bag is. And that's not to do with the phone because it doesn't do it with the phone. Because yeah. the phone's been there for ages. See, it stops, see? We're not nothing to the phone. Can we do that? Sadness. What's about sadness? Again. Guys, we're going to have a quick look through here. This is completely gone. There's no pathway. There is a little tiniest pathway, but it's been obviously overgrown. Uh, not really been fixed up. Oh, God, it's still squishing from all the mud. The sun hasn't got to this either. I'm not sure what that is. Well, that doesn't open. That don't open because it's padlocked. I don't know what that is. I think that's a building back there, I'm not sure. What? There's no bolts on it. Yeah, there's a proper padlock on it. Alright. So you can't get over that. The padlock it. means no go. Yeah. In the UK. <laughs> the padlock is your warning sign. <laughs> over here. The sheds are around here, guys. Um, not gonna lie. I'm very dubious about going into these sheds after the stuff that has been going around on YouTube. Um, yeah, fair dues in the UK, you probably do get a slap on the wrist, but there was a YouTuber who did get done for trespassing, and then they did use his, like like what is happening in America right now, they did use their um, video evidence against him, but he didn't get done, he didn't go to prison, you know, he, he got let off basically, slap on the wrist and he was let out, but he did go to court. And personally, I don't really fancy going to court. Oh, I saw something in them branches. Anything? Or is it the way the... It's the way the tree goes. Sunlight on it, is it? Yeah, it's the sunlight on it. In the distance, it looked like there was something looking at us. That's what I'm saying. When you start hearing about all these legends, you start getting freaked out. Yeah. You start seeing things that probably possibly aren't there. And then, boom. Some sort of voices guys. Like I said, I'm not really I can't hear it until I get the headphones on. But um, that's why the reaction is not like oh you know shocked from that because I really don't want to think it says something and then make myself like a tit yeah. because it says something else. Oh that was a big one. Hello Oh, 
I don't like them, do I? D Jesus. No. Whoa, cut that off. Well, so guys, we are walking out, and that today is the sun. And that means, guys, if you are going to do an adventure like this, to always bring water with you, because if you do not, you're probably going to be really tired, really dehydrated, and you'll probably want to go home a lot earlier than what than what you really need to. Um, you got to stay out here quite a while to get your evidence. We've already started to get a lot of evidence, guys. I mean, literally, the second we um, turned the spirit box on in a patch over there, we got nothing but voices. Um, we've just got a few voices here. I'm going to go and see what they say. But, guys, this is pretty... You know when you feel like you're being watched? This is what it feels like when you when you feel like you're being watched in the woods. And it, you you know, and I, and I don't mean by other people. And uh, maybe it's because of all the hype and everything that's been going on. I'm freaking myself out. But guys, hopefully we do end up finding. Oh, also that freak out there. I don't really like bees. You know, I know they're not really going to hurt me. I know there's nothing wrong with them. I just have a phobia of bugs. Uh, flies don't like bees. Pretty much not. Uh, especially you know bumblebees and stuff. Uh, that that was just me freaking out over a bee, guys. I do apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, guys, we're gonna go and have to. Uh, we're gonna move on, and we're gonna go all the way back into the main area to see if we can actually find some more evidence about what we said. You know, at the moment, I haven't really seen anything like no trees. I haven't seen no scrapes on trees. No, you know, stuff you would find if you did find a bigfoot. You know, or if a bigfoot was here. You know, you'd find like a footprint. You'd find a. Uh, you'd find maybe some hair. Maybe maybe something. I'm not, we're not really come across that, guys. the size of that dog paw print guys that is a beast of a dog it's dog people paw print <laughs> oh god and they went then again don't know if you guys can see this on camera that's annoying I can see it by my eyes but I can't see it by a camera what? the shiny thing mm. see it here well, you can see it can't you? Mm -hmm. well yeah mm -hmm. where is it? it's not showing up on camera is it? no but it's there Well, there's something shiny over there, guys. Hope it's not a brand new fence. <laughs> but guys, you see those there? Those are the abandoned sheds. We finally found them. Now we have to see if there are any ways in. So guys, sheds are there. Me and the viewers are gonna go in, which is you, you're the viewers. We're gonna go in and we're gonna see if there's a way in. If there's no way in, we can't do much about it. But I wonder, guys, maybe, the creature that that woman saw, what happens if they lived or living in these abandoned sheds? So that, that would be something creepy. We're going to go in. We are going to go see. We're going to do some EVPs. Guys, if we do get in there, we are going to be doing EVP. But it looks like it looks like it's open at one point, but I don't want to, you know. It's like a prisoner of war. Let's have a look. It's an old. It's not a prisoner of war. See, they're not near it. They're on that yeah. side. It's an old prisoner of war. But are they going to rat us out? Not in it, Sunday. Is he going to snitch us? Is that construction guy gonna snitch, snitch on us? <laughs> yeah, there's a way in. There's a way in. There's the sheds, guys. Oh, I feel all um, oh urban God. exploring. Look at that. Oh God. You can go in there. That's fine. Cause that won't, that won't go on you. There's a fence next. Barbed that's the way around. Yeah, because there was one way around. Hey. Barbed wire fence there, guys. But I'm sure. No, because there's a way in through that side. On that side, there's no barbed fence. You go straight across the field because that's that's open field. Oh, hang on, there we go. What's this? Go. What's oh, this? Oh, there you go. Trespassing will be prosecuted. Ah, oh, no, no. When did that go up? Ah, oh, guys. That means we are not allowed in these sheds. Ah, man. And I was really looking forward to that as well. Yeah. Why don't we then make some phone calls? Yeah, have a word with them, yeah. yeah. What we will do, guys, is we're going to try and make some phone calls to see if we are allowed to get in here. But no, it's all over the place, guys. I'm a bit good about that, but no, I yeah, think these have recently gone up. These have recently gone up. Not good 
will be. And it doesn't say could be, it says will be prosecuted, guys. So unfortunately, just a quick one there, guys. This means this is off limits. If we go in here, the video is going to be caused as evidence and we will be prosecuted. So we aren't going to go in there, guys, unfortunately. But we can stay on the outside and we can record inwards. Places like these that are, you're not allowed to go into them because um, they're abandoned and like obviously they're either dangerous or they're either, um, or people don't like graffitis and they don't like people coming in doing drugs and stuff in their, in their, uh, in their land. So um, my idea is, how about these companies who have these buildings that are wasteful and that aren't going to go anywhere, they should maybe rent out to urban explorers. Oh, don't do that for one that one's dangerous. Now that one would probably be, I wouldn't have gone in that one anyways. But they should they should check it out. And these abandoned places that they can't do any more work with and they think they just let it die and it just rots away. They should rent these things out to abandoned, to, to urban explorers and ghost hunters. You know, it could, it, you know, come on, I'd pay a good 50 quid to come into here and have a look around. Um, Right, in England, you can go into these buildings, but the second there's a trespassing sign, and if, even if you miss the trespassing sign, you're at fault for not checking properly. So, there are trespassing signs here, guys. We're not allowed in. But like I said, guys, they should really rent these places out, you know, 50 quid, maybe even 100 quid, for urban explorers and ghost hunters to come and do a module overnight. They would make an absolute mess off of a building that they don't make any more money off. That's it. They wouldn't even have to renovate it, guys. All you would have to do is sign a clause that if you get injured in these places, it's off your own back. Right, we're right there, but we're not allowed in, guys. guys we're right outside the shed still we are gonna get the EVP box set up uh, spirit box keep saying EVP it's the same thing uh, spirit box set up let's see what we can find outside of here guys Bigfoot's had a McDonald's there. Was that a Burger King? Either way, Bigfoot's probably eating fast food. What, what was that? that? Hang on, wait. Hear that? Hmm. Keep an eye out, guys. We're going to come down here on Christmas Eve mm. with that lady challenge. Okay, guys. So, big, big video coming up round about near Christmas. We've got a while yet, obviously. We are going to be coming back here with some night vision cameras that we are going to be able to get our hands upon. Um, maybe you're going to, I think you're going to see those in the each drive first because we're going to be putting them in the rooms once we get the chance we're, we're going to we're going to try and um see if we're allowed to stay overnight uh, i think you pay a certain amount and you can stay overnight as well um so we're going to get the cameras up in there um a big thing coming up on christmas guys is that we are going to be coming to these woods as you guys do know if you've read up a lot about the black lady if you come to these woods and say the words I'm not going to say it yet but you say a certain okay, words no i don't want to do it you say a certain word and pretty much what that is, is that will then... She will then apparently appear to you. But you have to do this on Christmas Eve. That's the tradition. The tradition is we do this on Christmas Eve. So we're going to come back on Christmas Eve. In the cold, absolutely freezing. And it's probably going to be dark because this gets dark very fast. It gets really dark 
here uh, in England at about four o'clock during the winter. So it's going to be pretty dark. We got some lights, guys. So that will be my first proper nighttime, uh, nighttime video, guys. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that. I personally don't want to die a day before Christmas, but you know, it's a, it's all about getting out there for a, a perfectly. You know, I don't really want to be eaten or attacked by the black lady a day before Christmas, guys. But that's what we do for these videos. We gotta get some entertainment out, you know. So we gotta get, we gotta, we take the good with the bad. That's what we do here, guys. Okay guys, that is it for the end of the video. Unfortunately, we did not find Bigfoot, but we got some good EVPs, and that is not the end of it. Every time we come to these woods, there's always gonna be something, so will we ever find Bigfoot? We don't know. Uh, but what we do know is that this place is wriggled with spirits. So with that said, guys, I do hope you hit that subscribe button if you are new, leave a comment, smash that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next location. Peace. Big, 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 big